Hey guys, this is Matthew Zoryman here, and today I got a special review for you. Because I was ex experimenting with melting Zoryman together, you probably heard of it, that some people do it, and I was experimenting with some. I only made two, but um, they're real. I really like them. I really like how they turned out. And um, so this one, he is my favorite. This guy, right here. So he is really cool. So what I did, explain what I did. I okay. So let's move him out of the way real quick. So I started out with this guy, and this and uh, this little guy right here. So these came from a set on Amazon. It was like green and silver and red and blue set. Came with four colors. Just came in a big bag and on um, when I got it from Amazon. So I got it from that. It should be pretty easy to find. Just search like Army Man. Not technically bucket, but just Army Man, I guess. But um, so you'll probably find it or find these guys elsewhere. So anyway, I took this guy, this little grenade guy. You've probably seen him before in some of my stop motions. He, um, yeah, he was like the, the lieutenant in my very first video. So if you want to see that, click up there. And so yeah, I cut his head off. Cut his head off. And then I cut this guy's head off, the little machine gunner guy. And what I wanted was a guy with a helmet instead of a hat. And I wanted his head to be facing forwards, like this way, instead of looking off to the side like that, like kind of like he would be looking forward like this. So I cut off this guy's head. It's cool because he has like a helmet. And then I melted him to get I melted them together using a lighter, just a simple lighter um yeah so you, I just held them where the head the cut off head was like sitting upside down on the ground outside on, on the driveway and then I cut off this guy's head would be gone and then I had him laying I had him like this to where it was kind of had the fire above like his, his neck or something until finally it gets kind of liquidy you could you could probably tell if you were doing it where both sides get liquidy to like his uh the, his shoulder like the top of his body and the bottom of his head and then you quickly grab them and stick them together that's what i've heard and then so yeah and then it, it worked to where that plus that equals this so he's a really cool little soldier right here. I really like him. He's got a nice little helmet. It looks somewhat proportionate. He just looks, you know, he just looks like a good soldier uh, for, uh, for a stop motion. So, yeah, he is really cool. I really like him. Even though it kind of left some gray, kind of liquid, kind of like with a candle. But that's okay. Uh, that's I had to do for it to work. I'm not painting it, but um, and then this was kind of like a test run right here. This was like practice before I did him because you know it's a tiny head on his sh uh, shoulders. So I practiced on this guy because you know it's a bigger surface. You know, like his lower, his upper body and the legs. So I cut off. A guy's legs from the bayonet guy so this is a timmy soldier and because i've seen people done it before with this kind of shooting guy and then the upper part of a kneeling and shooting guy and yeah he turned out pretty cool he looks pretty natural to where he's just standing up and shooting oh well they're both green so that's kind of weird and yeah and this guy I already had this guy. This is just a pre-made kind of soldier guy with shooting. It came with the same set as this one. Came with the same set as this guy. 
So he will probably be in a stop motion to where he's kind of like this. And then he starts shooting. So these guys will be in a future stop motion for sure. I will don't know what I'm going to use them exactly for. But these guys will be in an upcoming stop motion for sure. Maybe a little bit far in the future, but they will be in there somewhere. So, yeah, this is my review. See you guys next time. Bye.